Good morning, this is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Surveillance video helps Sioux Falls police track down a bank robber. Investigators say 57-year-old Melvin Gatlin walked into the U.S. Bank near 41st Street and Marion Road on Friday. He allegedly showed the clerk a note and got away with more than $3,500 cash. Police used surveillance video to get his license plate number and track him to Richfield, Minnesota. Authorities there arrested him and searched his home. There's clothing that was found that matched the clothing that was used during the robbery. There was some cash that was recovered as well. Gatlin got out of prison less than a year ago for two Minnesota bank robberies. He is still on federal probation and his probation officer helped Sioux Falls police identify him. Just days after the crime, Sioux Falls police have made an arrest in a convenience store robbery. Police say Marita White pointed a gun at a clerk last Tuesday morning at a store on North Minnesota Avenue. A man who was with her grabbed cash and they took off. They were both wearing a mask. The clerk recognized the woman, even though she was wearing a mask, as a former employee. And we had uh, detectives that were looking for her. Police found White on Friday and made an arrest. In her apartment, they allegedly found clothing and cash from the crime. In Meade County, two people were arrested after 15 dogs were found not being properly taken care of. The Meade County Sheriff's Office says several of the dogs were being confined to a horse trailer and others in small enclosures on the property. Many of the dogs appeared to be malnourished. The dogs were removed and taken to veterinarians to receive care. They're now in several shelters across the region. The Sheriff's Office has not released the names of the people arrested. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, Travis. Good morning, everybody. A cold day today, windy to start, too. We have wind gusts near 40 miles per hour in eastern Kelloland. Uh, those winds will slowly die down as we do go into the afternoon. But it will be cold. Temperatures this afternoon only in the 20s to near 30 degrees. I'll have more details on the Kelloland Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A former Minnehaha County public defender was shot and killed in North Carolina two weekends ago. Now Emily Steinhoff James is being remembered by friends and family from Sioux Falls to Raleigh. James was an accomplished woman serving in the military, getting her law degree, working as a public defender, and opening her own practice. This all came before moving to North Carolina, where she got her nursing degree and started a family. You can hear about Emily from Sioux Falls community members and her sister-in-law in a Kelloland.com original by Jacob Newton online now. One man was flown to a Sioux Falls hospital after a fire at a Rock Valley, Iowa home. Authorities say it happened just after 2 o'clock Friday afternoon in the 2000 block of 15th Street. Rock Valley police officers arriving on scene found the home engulfed in flames. Authorities say a resident was trapped in an upstairs bedroom. Officers were able to catch him as he fell from a second story window. The Rock Valley Fire Chief and Iowa State Fire Marshal are investigating the fire. William Kyle III has announced he's entered the NCAA transfer portal. The South Dakota State standout and reigning Summit League Tournament men's basketball MVP made the announcement on social media, thanking SDSU coaches, teammates, and fans. Kyle is just the latest Summit League standout to enter the transfer portal after experiencing success in the mid-major conference. Sioux Falls will get two of the top four attendance leaders in men's hockey for the NCAA playoffs this Thursday. The regional bracket features Minnesota and Nebraska Omaha with Rochester Institute of Technology and second ranked Boston completing the bracket. The lineup has already created good ticket sales. The Premier Center is one of four sites for regional hockey this year. Digital reporter Ray Yost explores how the center compares to other venues in a Kelloland.com original story on our website now. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott? All right, good morning, everybody. Winter weather advisories this morning across eastern, southeastern Kettleland. Due to blowing snow, we continue with the periods of light snow in the Minnesota, northwestern Iowa this morning. That will move east and northeast. Uh, these winds will die down later this afternoon. We will have improving conditions 
uh, as we go into the afternoon hours. Try to bring some sunshine too. future cast looking dry for the afternoon. Decrease in cloud cover can be expected across eastern South Dakota. If you don't see the sunshine today, we have it in the forecast tomorrow. Temperatures will be just a couple of degrees warmer in eastern South Dakota, near 30 for highs. We'll have numbers in the 40s across western Kelloland, and everybody will continue to warm as we do get into Thursday. There's limited moisture available for this coming weekend. Some scattered shower chances mainly in the form of rain as we do go through this coming weekend. Temperatures will be below average, uh, but warmer than the numbers we'll have today and tomorrow. So here's a look at our strong winds for today from the northwest. Some of these wind gusts still near 40. Winds do die down late today, and we'll go with light wind speeds probably for the rest of the work week and going into this coming weekend. So slowly warming temperatures late during the work week, Thursday into Friday. Gets a little cooler for this weekend. Temperatures in the 40s for highs in many locations. And then we do have a quick bump up in these temperatures as we go through that first week of April, maybe even going into next weekend, we could see temperatures returning above average. In the meantime, today will just be plain cold and windy too. Temperatures today in the 20s to near 30 degrees. 30 degrees today, Rapid City. 27 in Pier. Temperatures remain in the 20s in eastern South Dakota. Single digit lows for tonight, mostly clear to partly cloudy. And for tomorrow, temperatures in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. 40s tomorrow in western South Dakota. You can always check the details of the seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.